Hey there, Louis Akabels here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can sign into the Microsoft Teams desktop application and how you can sign into the Microsoft Teams web app. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you want to do is open the Microsoft Teams desktop application. And if you're logging in for the first time, you're going to be prompted to put in your username. Now I'm seeing my username here saved because I've already logged in previously, but I'll go ahead and click use another account. So this is the screen that you'll likely see and you wanna go ahead and put in your username here. And then you wanna go ahead and click next. And you can see here that I've been logged into Microsoft Teams. And again, if it's the first time that you're logging in, then you wanna go ahead and put in your password and your organization may also require you to authenticate your identity using a second factor. That simply means that you might be asked to obtain a code that is sent to your email address or put in a code from an app like Microsoft Authenticator or an SMS based code. Now, again, I was logged into Teams without having to put in my password as I have logged into this app previously and my password and my credentials were saved right within the app. Now, before I show you how to sign in to the Microsoft Teams web app, just a quick note that if you are logging in for the first time or if you've signed out of Teams and you've signed back in, what I typically recommend is that you scroll up to the top of the app and click on the settings and more option. And then you go ahead and click check for updates. Now, the reason that I suggest doing this is that when you sign out of Teams and sign back in or close it and then reopen it, sometimes the app will actually display an older version. So you'll notice here that the app bar is the same Microsoft Teams purple when in fact, this is actually a different color in the most recent version of Teams. So if I go ahead and click check for updates here, then you'll see here this message is going to show up at the top and then it may ask you to actually refresh your app. So again, once you sign in, recommend clicking on the settings button and then clicking check for updates to just make sure that Teams is working in the most recent version. All right, now to log into the Microsoft Teams web app, you wanna go ahead and open your browser and navigate to teams.microsoft.com. Now I'll just go ahead and press enter. And here you wanna go ahead and enter your email address. Now I'll just go ahead and select my email address here and click next. Then you wanna go ahead and put in your password and click sign in. Now again, if you have multi-factor authentication set up, then you might see this screen and be prompted to either enter a verification code or to enter an SMS-based code or a text-based code. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click text. Now that I've entered the code, I'm gonna click verify. And I'm gonna go ahead and click no. And you can see here that I have been signed in to the Microsoft Teams web app. So that's it. This was just a really quick tutorial showing you how to sign into Microsoft Teams, the desktop application and the web application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Ecobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.